and welcome to my channel. I'm having your weekend love reading. Um, obviously this can go past the weekend. Energy is fluid, but my focus is to call in the energy for this weekend, but it will resonate when you see it. So, or if it's meant for you, it'll resonate when you see it. Let's, I just want a couple more shuffles here to get your guys' energy into the cards. We'll get started. All right. Spirit and Angels, what does Scorpio need to focus on this weekend in love? Oops. I don't know if you guys can hear the storm, but it is raining so hard here. All right. There we go. Your first card out, Scorpios, is the Strength card. The Queen of Swords. King of Swords, the person you are dealing with, the Hierophant in most decks, the spiritual teacher, wow, the star. And the Ten of Swords. The situation at hand here. Oh, my nose is so itchy all of a sudden. What situation is Scorpio is dealing with? Rebirth. The Nine of Wands. And the World card. Bottom of the deck is your card. The Death card. Clarified with the Hanged Man in the reverse and the nine of cups okay let's see what we got here scorpios okay so i love how all three of the cards in your um row are enlightened the yellow glow the yellow glow the three uh beams uh representing spiritual knowledge um mind body and soul energy there um wisdom from the divine so you're really trying to uh get a handle on your emotions really trying to heal and figure out what that even means like what it means to heal because you have or are going through a huge, huge rebirth, a huge awakening. Um, you're surrendering. You're leaving the old you behind as they're laying on the ground there. You are healing your inner child and you are surrendering to the process. Um, and that's that's the glow that's the glow that you're receiving um but you will rise again she does carry the white rose so it's like even though your crown has slipped you will get back to back to that status 
but only better because when you come back you will be enlightened you have been in this like almost hermit for quite some time um stepping away from love stepping away from the world in every way uh just trying to find who you were again um and you received it you received that enlightenment as you see the three beams and that's the card you're coming out with so you're coming out of this pause this time you took away from the world to see things from a different perspective and you most definitely are seeing things in a new way because you are a new you um, purging and shedding out the old you some of you could have been um, numbing your feelings drinking too much using drugs whatever it was that because otherwise you'd lose your head you kind of just numbed everything about life for a while trying to deal with some heartache that happened in the past um, so you are coming out with the strength trying to figure out what this life is all about really you're questioning everything because you've come out of a major transformation the, the queen of swords is so wise because she's been through about every situation you could think of and kept coming out stronger and stronger now holding the power of the truth um, of hers and the divines and knowing that knowing how the world works and knowing that she will be led to that pot of gold eventually um, you also have the king of swords as well so taking action so coming out of this transformation taking action um, and removing anybody out of your life that doesn't fit the bill anymore. You are purging big time Scorpios. The person you are dealing with could be a, a Taurus. This is also Aries for me. But there is somebody coming into your life and it may not even be sexual. This person is a spiritual teacher um, helping you through this, um, this rebirth. And really showing you and teaching you how to connect with the divine. Bringing you a lot of healing. Um, connecting, helping you connect with the universe as well. And helping you remove these swords out of your back. Um, allowing the healing, closing out these cycles. You could have been dealing with a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius um, that, that stabbed you in the back or left you, you know, hurt and broken but that is all coming to an end you're you're ready to start your new cycle you're going through this rebirth this is judgment a second opportunity at making things right um you have one more battle to to get through and a new chapter is yours the last battle for you is to honestly and release this uh ten of swords you have here Let's get some clarifiers quick. Why is the strength card here? So trying to uh, tame those inner be beasts. Um, balancing out that uh, shadow and light. Why is, oops. Why is strength card here? For Scorpio. Yep, trying to, yeah. Trying to find balance between the shadow of the moon and light. So, um really trying to work on your intuition as well but finding the courage to to move forward following your intuition as well as learning how to listen to it there's a queen of swords here thank you yeah so you are coming through this transformation and really truly finding stability um taking action um yeah, and working hard to move forward away from that air sign that hurt you um, or that you hurt. Why is it right here? Who's a spiritual teacher? Yeah, so with the spiritual teacher card, you are going to get through this last battle you are going to be able to love again and it's now like just recently have you even felt like that was a possibility you had no desire to try to have a relationship with anybody you are coming to the end of the completion look at that 
amazing. You can finally let go of all that pain and hurt because you're seeing a new way. Whoa. You're seeing a new way for your life to go. You've been dealing with a lot of sadness um, over a broken home in the past. Somebody could be, you could be in court with somebody. I see that as well. But somebody is going to apologize for the hell that they have put you through. But it doesn't even really matter. You've already completed this cycle. You're ready, truly ready for a new chapter to begin. You have planted the seeds of intention and you're ready to move forward and move on. You truly have released. You truly have come out of this spiritual awakening. And you're ready for your second chance. You're ready for this rebirth. You're ready for the new chapter. And you're ready for things to change in your life. Beautiful energy. Bottom of the deck is temperance. Another spiritual card. You, I don't really see a whole lot of love this uh, weekend for you, Scorpio. You're really focusing on your spiritual connection to source, to, um, you know, the universe, learning to forgive and to move forward with your lesson, no longer focusing on what went wrong, but what you can do to make things right. I thought, I thought a card flipped there. Whoa, a whole bunch of cards flipped there. Okay, so forgiving and learning at the bottom of the deck, most definitely. Um, right now you're retreating, you're disconnected from the world. Uh, learning to love yourself first, learning to find that self-respect, that healing. Um, time to keep an open mind. You could have your mind set on somebody, but for the majority of you, you're just starting to want to get into a connection again. So go out, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Enjoy yourself. When you go out and have fun, your energy automatically rises. Your vibration, bringing in higher vibration people into your world. Um, you finally are able to close a chapter that has been open and ready to be put away for a long time. But you got the death card twice and the judgment card twice and rebirth. So yeah, most definitely you are putting away this chapter and ready to take action and create a whole new one for yourself. So congratulations, Scorpio. It's been a lot of hard work, but you're now ready to get yourself back out there. So all right, guys, have a beautiful day.